Hey, Gerard, Carl here. Um, Sunday afternoon, figured I would uh, make this quick video for you. I'm going to do a couple of things in this video. One, um, this is an interactive, totally integrated video, so I want you to see that over here, I'm going to put a little white paper. We could put over here whatever we want, but I'm going to put a little white paper over here for you about the middle class millionaire plan, you know, specifically for you. Then uh, over here above me, you're going to see a little button for email. People can hit that button and, and direct an email towards me, you know, email information. Over here, I'm going to put my LinkedIn. So I do that all the time so people can look me up on LinkedIn and people could figure out about me and then they could actually connect to me. And then lastly, on the far side, you're going to see a phone come up uh, later in the video. That phone, uh, if you dial your number, area code plus your number direct, It'll ring your phone. When your phone rings, it's going to be connecting live to me. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a presentation that I've, I've made a long time back for uh, insurance agents and even the public. We can tweak all these, but I wanted to give you an idea why, uh, you know, we do have a webinar platform that I think works really well, but we also got a virtual, uh, we got a virtual um, uh, agency thing. So I got a couple of uh, different types of presentations, but this one specifically, I want to show you the principles of why the middle class millionaire plan was something uh, I thought about and the reason why Legal Shield would be a major component of it. Okay, so let me get to that. Um, uh, first, I've got to share a screen here for us. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, so I make this quick presentation. Now, it's just to show you sometimes, you know, we can do these presentations without uh, without having to do um, uh, webinars, things of that nature. I mean, there's so many ways today. But we've got this virtual office, this virtual agency, which I haven't even shown you yet, and that is really powerful, okay? Uh, and I can show you how to use that in the legal shield business, I think. But let's just look at this middle-class millionaire plan and go over a couple of things. When I speak to insurance agents, I always uh, make sure that they understand they got two main problems, okay? One is prospecting, who to sell to. We all know that they all do a very poor job in this area, okay? And that's why Legal Shield would be so important because once again, they can uh, speak to people about something people are interested in talking about and not speak to people immediately about life insurance. But the second big problem is even when they overcome prospecting and find someone that they can work with, then they have to find how to fund the life insurance. And rarely do people have the amount of capital and money to put away because we live in a society where everyone's talking about saving and everyone's talking about retirement, but yet let's be honest, no one's doing it. And here's why. Okay. Financial independence should be our entire story. I tell this to agents every day because the focus is pretty simple. We live in the richest nation in the world, and yet at the very same time, we have the highest rate of financial illiteracy in the world. And this is the reason why 95% uh, of our society attains financial dependence at best. That means they're dependent on family, friends, social networks, organizations, institutions, agencies, uh, church, churches, you know, the religious organizations, nonprofit organizations, and at worst, they're reliant, they become dependent upon the government. And that's the worst position to be in. But here's why. Here's what happens to the 95%. They work, they earn, they spend, they borrow, and they pay. And their payments are in the form of interest. So they are consistently paying interest. There's only two things you can do with interest. You're either going to pay it or you're going to earn it. Now, most people are paying interest, but they pay it well into the future. And every dollar of interest paid is a dollar that future you into, into your uh, uh, elder years, into your fourth quarter of life, it's a dollar you'll never have. Never get it back. It doesn't, uh, it erases. It's gone. It's spent, okay? When you borrow money, and, and we try to show this to people, when you borrow money, you're borrowing from future you. You're not borrowing from the banks. You're not borrowing from the finance agencies. You're borrowing from unearned income from your future uh, being, okay? And that money is now moved into this time frame, and the penalty for that is to pay interest, okay? So what do the 5% who are financially independent do? Well, they work, okay, but different types, I think. They earn, they spend, 
they use uh, dollars uh, for some debt reduction, and then they also have passive income income that's continuing to grow regardless of what they do. They're earning interest. Big difference. Earning interest, okay? Now, we have all been trained to fail, and the way we're trained to fail is this work, earn, spend, borrow, pay cycle. We've been trained, and the banks, the merchants, and the credit cards have the greatest weapon known to me, and it's called amortization. So when we borrow that money from future you, the banks are more than willing to give it to us and amortize it over time because we're used to being uh, uh, trained to view all our finances in the form of monthly payments. And you know this is true because when we go down to buy a car, go buy a car for, for a normal, uh, the normal process of buying a car. What do they first start talking about? The first thing they get from you is a monthly payment that you think you can afford. Then they add 10% to that monthly payment and always come back to you with a 10% higher monthly payment after you've already been, uh, you know, uh, you've already kind of bought the car in your mind. You've already taken uh, control of it, ownership of it. And now they come back to you and you were saying, oh, well, I could pay 400 a month. They come back and say, oh, it's only 450 a month. Okay. Um, so that's the process. And it's the process with everything. Everything gets nailed down buying a home. It's nailed down into a monthly payment. We have to get away from that mindset. Okay. And that's what we're trying to help people do here with the middle class millionaire plan, get them out of this thing. So it's a new paradigm. We talk about past, present, future you. That's something that I'm not going to go over right now. We talk about the three golden rules of financial independence, go where the puck will be, use the law of multiplicity and create an impenetrable, unique value proposition for other people, okay? And then we've got the three levels of income. So these are all part of our, uh, of our financial concierge message, right? these three messages, three levels of income. Direct is present income. Residual is money from the past that you keep earning on, things you've done in the past, and passive. Again, that's going to the future. Passive income is going to earn interest so that you have those dollars in the future. And this is where it all comes into play. So how do we do this? Well, by showing people not that they, they, they should save money or not that they should try to put money away that they don't have. If anyone was going to save money, they'd already be saving it. If they were going to pay down debt, they'd already be paying it down. But of course, they're not because they don't have the money, because they work, they earn, they spend, they borrow, and they keep paying. And every time they get a raise, guess what they do? They spend or borrow more, uh, leverage it, okay, and then have more in debt. So what we're trying to say to people is, look, you don't have the money to save, <clears throat> but saving is an important component. So here's what we're going to show you. We're going to show you how to increase the income. We're going to show you how to create the income. So, but we want you to focus on creating $1,500 to $2,000 a month that's already spoken for in a unique plan. So the reason you're earning that $1,500 to $2,000 additional extra a month is to get it into your middle class millionaire plan. Now, you can earn way more than that. We're not saying you should stop earning. We're not saying that's all you should earn. We're saying that that is the target for you to earn. Okay. And that's done pretty simply. The first thing we do is we help them show them how they're going to earn the money. Well, we can show you how to build a legal shield business and we can show you how to help a lot of people around you uh, in the same manner. And that will help you earn additional income and build it for yourself. Okay. Then we're going to give you a term insurance policy. Now, in your case, uh, uh, Gerard, I looked over the term insurance for you, and I'll explain all that to you. But the reason we get the term insurance is to protect insurability. If someone's going to build a bank, they don't have the fifteen hundred to two thousand a month right now, but they need to have the land option to build the bank on. So the term insurance assures the fact that basically that person will be able once they start to get the right amount of income in they will easily be able to convert the term insurance and use it into their life insurance. So that's the process. We're going to approach with legal shield. We're going to use financial literacy uh, lead in. We talk about legal shield being 1495 a month for family, uh, both parts of the coverage, right? Uh, obviously in building the business, depending on where they're coming from, if they're agents or they're non-agents, 
Uh, it's uh, $60 to $230 monthly commission somewhere. There's obviously monthly residuals. And the focus is to build a $1,500 to $2,000 monthly income that is going to go into the infinite banking plan. So the direct and residual income comes from both, um, both sides, a legal shield and uh, life insurance. Passive income is through their life insurance plan, okay? Um, the life insurance also creates tax-free income, tax-deferred growth, and they can pay yourself the interest from any debt service. So in other words, now you're the bank. You are uh, the debt service in the future. You're not asking the banks to amortize for you. You can amortize for yourself. It's the whole point of building this plan, right? Now, it also creates a tax-free estate and a legacy plan. Now, the average commissions for insurance agents on one of those plans, after we get a person into the right income, is somewhere $8,500 to probably $12,000. That's the average commission for the life insurance agent, not counting the ongoing commissions and, and income coming from Legal Shield. So we always tell them what's in it for you. Well, multiple streams of income, obviously. So we do, we do build the uh, uh, three necessary uh, types of income in order to be financially independent. Uh, two levels of direct and residual, one level of passive. Uh, agents can get paid to prospect. We can show them how to do this very easily. I, and the people can get paid to prospect. They don't become life insurance agents. The people who come into Legal Shield, I've got another component for them in the financial literacy that gets them paid. And all they got to do is become an affiliate. And they can make up to possibly $200 or better on that as well. Okay. Uh, it's going to create the funding mechanism for the infinite bank by increasing the income, not asking people to pull pennies out of their couch or to give something up or to make sacrifices or to cut something out. Those are all losing strategies. If people were going to cut back, if people were going to be disciplined, if people were going to do something different, they'd be doing it. So we don't need to go there and try to teach them to be disciplined or cut back. We've got to go there and show them how to earn more income. And if we do that, we can then show them how to save specifically and be disciplined with that new earned income. So we're going to show people how to attain financial independence. And all of us, each of us, we become financially independent by helping others do the same. The more people we help become financially independent, the more we become financially independent. So the call to action on this is, is, is kind of simple when we get to that. We got the middle class millionaire plan. You see, there's a book I wrote a couple of years now, right? Um, I have two insurance carriers that I'd want insurance agents to be with in order to any of these middle class millionaire plans to get written have to come through my insurance carriers, but that's a, another story. Okay. Um, and uh, we tell the insurance agents they could start a legal shield agency with no, basically no upfront costs other than their own membership, you know, and they should have a membership anyway. Then we go over to links and such and uh, pretty much uh, that's it. So, um, I've got other presentations, by the way, I've got many other presentations. So that's just one. Uh, that's one of many. And that is more, I think that's more for an insurance agent right now than it is the public. We can create something specifically, you know, for people. Um, but, um, uh, if agents would take, uh, pay attention to this, uh, Gerard, every time they sit with a person and try to show them how to become a member of legal shield what they really should be talking to them about is their financial independence it's one thing yes you can create an income with legal shield but if i show you how to use that additional income in order to create the kind of banking plan that could create a million dollars for you or more and it would be in essence the savings that right now you're not doing would that be interesting I mean, I got to think it would be because it's the only way to financial independence. There's no other way. So people are not going to become financially independent simply because of their job, wherever they work. Half the time, people hate the job they've got, but they're still going to do it. And the only reason they even believe in something like retirement is because retirement is for people who work 30, 40 years at a job they hate. Most people who developed uh, a life, uh, a lifestyle, a life income or created financial independence. They don't hate what they do. They love what they do. So they're going to keep doing it. They'll do it to 80, 90 years old because they love it. 
you know, so most people are already retired if they're financially successful in the sense of retirement. If retirement means that you simply want to do what you want, be who you want, go where you want, have what you want, and not have to worry about anything financially. If that's what financial independence is, which is what it should be, then certainly people don't retire who have that. So this is why our lesson is so important. But there's, there's multiple streams of income here. So now in your case, Gerard, two things. One, I'm going to send you an illustration. It'll be over here, uh, the right-hand side. That's what will be here for you. It'll be the illustration on the term insurance for you, okay? Um, I don't assume right now that you uh, are in a position where you want to put away $1,500, $2,000 a month, or if you have a 401k plan already, you and I need to talk. If you've been putting money in a 401k through an employer or something of that nature, even on your own, we need to talk about that, okay? However, if you haven't been doing that, and I don't have a, again, I, I don't assume you're ready to put $1,500 to $2,000 away. If you are, it's a different scenario. But without that, uh, I've sent you a term insurance illustration. And basically, it's to protect enough death, enough death benefit for your insurability for us to get you into a, um, uh, um, a, a convenient program. Now, if you're going to convert in two years or less, then... I would, uh, uh, you can go with an annual renewable term insurance policy. I think at the 350 level or something I had for you, it was $600 a year or something. And on the, uh, 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 if it was a 10 year um, uh, term basis, it was like 1100 bucks a year. But if you are going to convert, meaning you're going to convert that term insurance, you're going to be ready to take 1500 to 2000 a month, give or take in that arena, and you're going to be ready to do that within two years. If you're going to target some additional uh, earnings right now and target it, and you're going to be ready within two years, then you go with the annual renewable, okay? If you're going to be more than two years, then you go with the 10-year term because in the long run, it'll cost you less. So if you're going to, if you're going to convert in three years or four years, okay, then you go with the 10-year term um, because that's level. That's $1,100 a year and it's level. So after, you know, uh, and you're going to get a conversion credit, by the way. So when you convert, you're going to get a credit for premium paid in the term insurance. But if you're, if you really believe you could do this within the two years, then go with the annual renewable term and pay 600 and the, and the renewal would be 1200. So if you went two full years, it would be a total of 1800. If you went on uh, 10 years and you went two full years, it'd be a total of like 22 or 2300. Uh, so converting inside two years is the key. Okay. Now the rest of it is kind of, uh, I'll show you over time, but we can develop uh, with that 1500 to 2000 a month, we can develop a, a, a pretty reasonable a bank for you. And at the same time, later on, if you want to, uh, when you get into your late sixties, you get like uh, I'm 65, you get in your late 60s, 70s, and you want to turn a tax-free income from it, you could, you could add on and that's tax-free income. And that's why I need to talk to you if you have a 401k, because we, we work with a lot of people with 401ks now to show them what's going to really happen. And that uh, the, the more income they get from a 401k, the more damage financially they do to themselves. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous, but it's, uh, it's sad. But there's a reason why that happens, okay? So if they had a 401k that was going to have very limited income back to them, no big deal. But if they got if they got a 401k and they're, and they're building huge income, they're going to make their Social Security taxable. So they're going to minimize that. They're going to make their Part B Medicare premium uh, through the roof. So they're going to have to pay more there. Uh, not to mention that all the dollars that are being deferred into the future are being deferred into a higher tax bracket. So the higher income is going to suffer even more taxes. And they are also deferring into a higher inflation uh, rate that they have no idea what it is. So unknown tax rate, unknown inflation rate makes the dollar that they're putting away right now to get a little tax deduction makes the dollar worth less and less and less. Okay. So life insurance is a much smarter uh, consideration, but you need an agent like myself, who's not going to screw you in the life insurance because we know how to build these things. A life insurance policy can't take every single dollar you put in for death benefit premium. We don't do that. We build this right. We build it so that you get the benefit, not the agent. Okay. 
So anyway, <clears throat> anyway, Gerard, I hope this message um, has been helpful. And uh, look, uh, your phone's up by now. You can call me direct from that, see how that works. But we could use this video in building our um, Legal Shield business, and we could also use the virtual office. You and I need to sit down and talk about that virtual office. Um, you can build team rooms in there, and people could be up to 20 people in the team room. I have my own team room. We build them out with agents, uh, and we give the agents that. But, uh, but a team room only costs 200 bucks a month. So we, uh, we basically can build as many team rooms as we want and, and have as many agents, and they all learn how to use the virtual office. It's a powerful thing. Got another presentation for that sometime I'll do for you, okay? So look, thank you so much, Gerard. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to doing a lot of business with you. I think that we could, I know that you're very successful already. I know you've been doing this a long time. Um, far be it from me to tell you how to do things. Don't want to be that kind of guy, but I do think there's a way to exponentially grow what you've already done, and I think there's a way for us to go to the next level together, okay? Uh, again, thanks so much. I'll speak to you this week, and um, let's, let's do it. Let's go after it, okay? Have a great day.